Before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you about my new merch at johnnygilbert.com. I have t-shirts for my newest song, Violent Dream, and I also have jewelry at nevertakeitoff slash johnnygilbert. So if you want to support the channel and wear something that's pretty cool, go to those sites. Link down below or just look them up. Enjoy today's video. Boy. We're gonna watch a video on the Costco guys because I need to know about the Costco guys because apparently everyone needs to know about the f***ing Costco guys. Most of what I see on TikTok is the stuff that winds up on Twitter or Instagram. And one of the vectors through which a lot of TikTok stuff spreads on Twitter is this guy named Mittens. He's got a bit of variety here. He reposts a lot of e-girl thirst traps. He's got a lot of those sorts of videos you see on TikTok where it's just like some redneck with 10 subscribers rambling about nothing. He what also does it have to do with the Costco guys? Before they really blow up, like Sage Shadowblade back in 2020. He's also Never had quite that. a few controversies with calling things cringe, just generally being negative about stuff that other people found wholesome. And he was about to have another. On March 17th of 2021, oh, he made posts, them go. This kid is going to grow up and resent his father for this. And attached was this video. We're Costco guys. Of course we go shopping while eating a chicken bake. We're Costco guys. Of course we have to try the new double chunk chocolate cookie. We're Costco it's like guys. stuff like this that just like shows you that life just sometimes just works out. You know, sometimes you just go to Costco and you make a funny video about the double chunk chocolate cookie or the fuck and a chicken bacon. It all just works out, you know. No eyeliner. I know what the hell happened to me. I don't know myself anymore. Of course we have to try out the furniture. Do you want to have a sleepover? Do you want me to have a sleepover? I, I will have a sleepover. If you want me to have a sleepover, I will have a sleepover. I do like you, so, you know. But if you don't want me to have a sleepover, I could not. I'll have to ask my mom, though. We're Costco guys. Of course we work out with the tires. Do you think, like, the people that work there are just like, why the fuck is this grown man lifting our tires? No, they probably don't care. This tweet now sits at 31.5 million views and was a lot of people's first exposure to the Costco guys. Particularly people like me who don't spend a lot of time on TikTok. By and large- Wanna go to Costco with Big Justice? No, that's a child. I like Costco, like, I like their food and shit, like, it's cool. But, like, I don't, uh, like how many people are there. It's super annoying, it's scary. Stay away from me. large, people seem to disagree with Mitten's assessment. A lot I would of commenters tires. said they wish they had this kind of relationship with their dad. This is how normal people act when they haven't had their brains warped. Wow. By Big Justice years. is the dad? Oh, fuck. Wait, who the fuck is the other one? Oh, that's AJ or some shit, right? Okay, I don't know nothing. of internet irony. Some had fond memories of family members who were also Costco guys. Others got fixated on how remarkably Italian they look and their beautiful eyelashes. Of course, not everyone beautiful was so eyelashes. positive about it. I have beautiful eyelashes now. I got an eyelash uh, lift, I think. I don't know. I got them dyed and lifted or something. I got luscious eyelashes now. You can see, you can see right here. There's, uh, there's some eyelash. Ugh, whatever. Throughout the years, there's been so many controversies with family oh, vloggers fuck. The video. and such that when people see a child in content, particularly stuff that's well polished and professional looking, they worry that the child is being exploited for views. That their parents have them working in some kind of content sweatshop. You look Which old with no eyeliner? Wait, do I look fucking old with no eyeliner? What the hell? Do I look old? You look 23. But I'm not. I'm, I'm older than 23. So that's not bad. If I look old. If 23 is old, then I am older than 23. I don't think that's what's happening here for reasons I'll explain later. Some people, while not feeling any particular type of way about the father and son themselves, saw this and lamented American society's worship of consumerism, that this was brain dead content for morons. And some also suspected that this was guerrilla marketing for Costco, which whenever you see content where a person is raving about a specific brand or service, it's definitely a valid question to ask. You know, it's illegal to not disclose sponsorships, but it happens anyway. That being said, I don't think that's what's happening. Why here. is this guy's For camera stars, all the way over there? Done brand deals in which they did the proper. Or why is he over there? And Costco, which I don't think would risk running afoul of the FTC, I really is a gold, store that you. has people like this who are just super into the brand. Sam's Sam's Club. Kill the current I went CEO to Sam's Club. I went to Sam's Club once, and I had the pizza there because, like, this is like the only thing I cared about at these fucking places is like trying the food court. And I, I like Costco's pizza way better. I think the food court here is way better. Uh, I gotta be honest the price of the hot dog which is one of america's greatest deals I prefer hot topic that is that the is hot not dog of course is similar a and of itself but beyond the company's reputation some people generally just enjoy the experience of shopping there some people find it fun or relaxing to just go to costco that does not look stuff. fucking I've relaxing i've personally done it with costco but i've definitely had a lot of days on tour where we just killed time by walking around walmart or wherever so i get it 
But yeah, I but think what I was lost to a lot usually, of people who saw this first that. on Twitter, myself included, was that this was part of a trend that was going around. The Carl Jacobs is, is arrested. What are you talking about? Are people just saying shit now? God damn it. Like, I don't believe anything anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. Carl Jacobs arrests. Why am I so gullible right now? On TikTok at the time. We're X. So, of course, we're Y. Of course, we're Mexican. We use the oven as storage. You need a pet? Basically, you identify as part of a group and then say things you do because of that. Think like Jeff Foxworthy's You Might Be a Redneck format. If you refer to the fifth grade as my senior year, <laughs> you might be a that redneck. Was my, so you have people using this trend year. to kind of make jokes about or give insight to their job, their race, Ooh. their location. I'm a YouTuber. Of course I have colored light bulbs in my room. I'm a guy in his 30s who All watches right, horror bored. movies. Of course I got wet specimens and that bust of the lady with the veil on her face so they participate in this tiktok trend and it winds up blowing up everywhere oh Aside so they weren't they didn't even have been sharing it on other social media it's sitting at 46 million views on tiktok and now with it blowing up everywhere people are making fan art memes using their audio doing parodies now this is who they are they've entered the cultural zeitgeist as the costco guys but they didn't start out that way AJ Bafumo makes his TikTok debut in April of 2022, portraying an evil banker who wants to keep you from getting a loan because of your low credit score. But his company, Mortgage Muscles, can get you approved. His first several TikToks promote the company Mortgage Muscles. In these TikToks, he's explaining the various ways his company can help people from different walks of life in various financial situations. Uh... It's unclear what eventually became of this business or his relationship to it, but towards the end of that year, he shifts the focus of his account. He starts experimenting with all different kinds of content. He's talking about sports. He's making motivational stuff. He's giving advice. He's commenting on the news. And this is all clearly not just some guy rambling. Everything is very polished and professional looking. He's clearly trying to make something of this. Which honestly, that's actually the advice I give people when they ask me about starting a channel. That they should just experiment with different types of content until they find something that works. And he starts to find the momentum he's Costco. looking for with food content. In December, he gets the Double Stack Burger from Charm City in Deerfield Beach, Florida. It doesn't do crazy numbers, but it's the most popular video he's had. Oh my in a god, while. that thing is like so he starts making water. more food videos, and they're consistently outperforming everything else. Eventually, his son starts appearing in the food videos. His first appearance is when they return to Charm City for another Double Stack. And this is I thought why they I were born in Costco. The kid do the videos because based purely Burger. on the vibes, Burger. I get the impression that it was the son who asked to be in the video. Which I mean, why is he so red? When they're dead, is he red? Oh, they are. Yeah, he is red. Thanks for pointing that out. I wasn't aware, but now I'm aware. Son appears and does Probably even better. Beer. You think he drinks beer? Before. Now the kid, Big Justice, is appearing all the time, as well as other he family never. members and some friends. He eats well burgers. Staff from the local businesses they visit. After a million view video where they get pizza from Sally Slices, they're pretty regularly having videos that do tens or hundreds of thousands of views. And the content starts to get more personal. They're going to the gym together. They're playing games together. They try a bunch of different formats Big and have just, success wait, is that, some of them. Dude, I what? forgot the fucking kid's name. Is it AJ or some shit? That kid could probably lift more than me. Guess wait, the, the dad is AJ? Over or under I certain price wait, points. really? Wait, Big Justice is the dad. Yeah, okay. All right, can we... I gotta stop. I gotta focus on this. Eventually, of course, the famous Boom or Doom series. Baddie boyfriend. They stuff and pit items against each other. They visited Costco a few times, Daddy too, girlfriend. but not all of their content was about Costco like some people assume. And actually, the week before the Costco guys video, they Get actually to the did a Rizzler. different video in the same format talking about being father and son. That one did pretty well, too. But it was on the 1st of March, He's 2024, ripped. that the Costco guys video gets posted and then they're off to the moon. From that point, they're doing big numbers all the time on TikTok with a video here or there breaking containment and popping off on the other apps again. Like the double chunk chocolate chip video. Double, the chunk. double chunk chocolate cookie. But really, what sends them off to an even higher level is the side characters. Rizzler, where did you come from? Daddy boyfriend. You know, introducing new characters late into a series is always a risky proposition. You don't want a scrappy do situation on your hands. And while friends and family joining the core team of AJ and Big Justice have always been a part of the show, newcomers are now becoming fascinated with what's being called the Costco Guys Expanded Universe. In particular, on the 6th of <laughs> June so in 2024, dumb. AJ and Big Justice went to Toys R Social Us. Social media, I feel like, has gotten so fucking dumb. It's incredible and also just makes you just go like, oh, that's where we're at now, though, as well. But it's kind of like, I think it's mostly incredible. I didn't know it still existed. At Toys R Us, they have a Boom or Doom tournament. Where toys are pitted against each other until one toy Daddy reigns boyfriend, supreme. Daddy boyfriend. And in this video, they're joined by this little fella named Christian that people just instantly. I'm gonna outriz the Rizzler. I don't think that's possible. From what I've like seen from people, like that's not possible. Old with. Boom or doom. I'm gonna give the Optimus Prime a doom and the Nerf gun a boom. 
no i don't agree i think the optimus prime is way better the contrast so i don't agree with him at all boisterous costco guys and he hits a gritty which holy shit like then turns into a green screen my favorite use of that green screen was a 9-11 meme that I definitely can't put in this video. You also see him get compared to Hezbollah. Uh, so yeah. I call him the Guido Hezbollah. He <laughs> does appear wise beyond his years, but I think this one's actually a child. Well, things go why are you saying, what, dude, Vic, why are you saying fuck you to the Rizzler, dude? That's crazy. Oh, because he didn't pick Optimus Prime. Okay, no, that's... I mean, I, I understand that I also agree that Optimus Prime was the right choice. Nuclear. When the Costco guys put out another video, now playing off the popular double chunk chocolate Yeah, he did shit. Chip well, I don't really this like time, Optimus Prime, but I would have picked it over that. Chip. And they all rated on the boom meter. They get some guests, including... We're suffering Cousin watching Angela, this? No, I'm, I'm really invested. The audience was Almost the done. Of Christian. But now he's not just Christian. That cookie looks kind of good for one bite. It's time for the rest and he's got a new trademark pose. You know, people talk about a thing called aura. They say Roman Reigns has Dude, aura. Dude, I keep on getting people saying that I have like fucking minus 35 aura or whatever. Aura, aura now. What the f I, Like everyone keeps on telling me that my aura or whatever is like bad now and shit. What the hell happened to that? That's not good. Taker has aura. The Rizzler has aura. He's just ridiculous. Yeah, they keep on over. saying shit like that. Like sometimes they'll say like, oh, plus 1000 aura or whatever the fuck. And then they'll be like, oh, minus 100 and shit. Like to me, like I'm just like out here living. I can't put these on, but I'm going to put them on. I'm going to fucking cry. Man, now the Rizzler's all anyone can talk about. There's even more memes and fan art specifically of the Rizzler now. Particularly, I love these ones by Slug Knight. And people are raising comparisons about how Family Matters was never supposed to be about Urkel. But then everyone loved Urkel so much it just became the Urkel show. And judging by the way he does this Rizzler pose in every subsequent appearance, you can tell that he knows this gimmick was a hit. As it turns out though, although most he people- He needs to make merchandise. Assume that the Rizzler was just make some the money. cousin they brought in. Turns out, he's actually a pro. Christian Joseph, now going by It's the Rizzler, had been making TikToks with his parents since 2020, and seemed to actually have his own dedicated following since well before the collabs with AJ and Big Justice. Scrolling back, he had tons of really popular videos the past couple years, including one with a few million views where he tries Popeyes for the first time. You know, at this point, we don't have the boom meter yet, so he rates it. At the time, that's not good. If he didn't have the boom meter, there's no point. Me making this video, it looks like he actually would I wear a T-shirt with his face on it. No, a couple days ago. absolutely not. So you can now get your very old message from the Rizzler. But a lot of Honestly, people would buy the them. The thing that made me want to make this video, because you guys know I don't really cover TikTok memes on the channel, was the father's lesser-known other career. In the replies to a tweet I made about the Rizzler, I noticed a few mentions of AJ being an indie wrestler. In particular, this comment got my attention. Knowing that the dad was originally an indie wrestler makes the whole Costco guys verse make so much more sense. Do I use Riz on Grace? Yeah, but sometimes I like fuck up though and like my Riz like is not... I, I sometimes take like five steps back because I like show like a uh, old photo of myself or something or, or you guys do. So, you know, there's a... Uh... I really do some minus aura, what would they say? All right, I'm over it. That's a, uh, yeah, Costco guys. I like the Costco guys. I got to see the Jimmy Kimmel thing, dude. They were just on Jim, 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 Kim, Kim. That's what I call them because we're cool, close friends. Apparently, people are like saying that he was mean to them. Welcome. Or he hated them. We got to watch Jim, Jim, Kim, Kim. People are not going to vibe with this. Welcome to the Tonight Look at the Rizzler, dude. Why? He should wear the Shrek Crocs. Joe, thank you so much for being here. Uh... You guys have taken over the internet, uh, and now you've, you've me. gone way beyond the internet. <laughs> Can't uh, block him. AJ, Big Justice, let's start with you guys. Uh, you, over the summer, you had one of the biggest songs, uh, We Bring the Boom. Right? What we do? We bring the boom! Right, <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is bad. Uh, uh, last week no. on Saturday Live, they, they impersonated you on the show. Isn't that wild? Uh, now, before... We they are not cool. real. How did, this, how did this all start? Just tell, walk me through this, please. Well, they do look happy. They seem very happy. Channel. Okay. And a lot of Big Justice friends were at school and they were doing TikTok channels. So one day Big Justice comes home and he says, Dad, I want to be on your show with you. I want to be on your channel with you. So I said, awesome, let's go. So That's such an old person way to bring up being in a TikTok. I want to be on your show. Uh, God bless we him. We film recording a hamburger. We give it a big boom. I Maybe would love to play Jimmy to Kimmel. I'll play, I'll play, uh, I'm not even gonna play one of my songs. I'll play, I'll play their song. I'll play We Got the Boom or whatever the fuck. Views, I said, that's it. This is now a father-son channel. Let's bring the boom. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Now this is going to be what we do now. And now you've done, how many booms have you done, do you know? <laughs> couple hundred thousand. Couple hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, thousand. Uh, Big Justin, what's it like working with your dad? Yeah, it's amazing. And it's not just working with my dad, it's working with my whole family. Ashley, my mom, it's yep. just so amazing that we've accomplished all of this. He's reading together. a script. Not just me and my dad. Yeah, that's right. It's all in the
You're a great family. Thank you. I know Mama Justice too. The Rizzler's just sitting there. Uh, Rizzler. <laughs> Dad, dude, what the fuck is this? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Now you're you're known for uh for the the Riz face, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt it, and um, trust me, I already hate it. It's like, I can't. Uh, okay, I think I, I'm gonna leave that to him. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> what is Guys, this? did my aura go up or did it go down from that? Be honest. No jawline? I have no jawline? What the fuck? I have a jawline. Do it again? Yeah, maybe it's just... <laughs> Ah, I'm getting the ick. What's the story behind the, the, the... So basically one day I came home from school and I was like, Dad. Yeah, everyone's um, roasting me for video. this. And I was like, this is how to do the Riz face. And then I just did it. And then he just did it. Wait, so you, wait, you said, Dad, I want to make a video. And then you said, and this is how you do the Riz face? Yeah. But what does it mean, this is how you do the Riz face? Can you teach me how to do the Riz yeah. face? So first, this is like dangerous too. You got to do this right, otherwise it could like affect you bad. R Ruth, you want to try this too? And then you raise one up. Okay. What is he doing? And then you suck in like this. <laughs> oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do it right. And then you do it all together. Rizzler looks That's like a forty-year-old cop. Yeah, let's get I'm doing the wrist face. Well, he kind of does look like a cop. Yeah. He's undercover. <laughs> Quest of, what are you trying? You look like you're doing an impression of Robert De Niro. I know, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I so, you, you have something on your channel, you guys, at AJ Big Justice, called the Boom Meter. Uh, can you explain how the Boom Meter works, Big Justice? So, we did this thing, Boomer Goo, but, and everybody got like, Damn, he's got don't give boom, any tunes, uh, blah, 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 right? Yeah. So, I said, well, we came up with the Boom Meter, because people rate stuff one to ten. Yeah. So, we said, it goes from one to five booms. So we get even, we get I'm stressing out. If it's good, it gets four booms. Okay, two booms. Bad, one boom. Amazing. Five big. I don't understand how that works. He's saying if it's good. Wait, what? If it's good, it gets five booms. But if it's not good, it gets like two booms. Amazing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one to five. five one, the booms. worst booms. Okay. Boom. Okay. Boom. Yeah, boom. We have five booms. Yeah, okay. So now. It's Halloween. He didn't want to hear them do that at all. I can give you each a Halloween candy, and then you'll rate using the boom meter. Yeah. You cool with that? Let's do it. Uh, Jimmy, be nice to them. They're so they seem so like positive. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ruined the boom. I know right, you Rizzler, can't do you're that. First, okay? it's this criminal. Is, this is a cream-filled Twizzler. That looks good. It looks good. That looks like Twizzler shit. Fuck that. <laughs> all right. Uh. -uh. That looks... Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to that two big booms. Boom! Boom! Okay. That's not good. Two's not good. Two big booms. Two's not good. Out of five booms? Where do I put this? Yeah, all right. Ready for big justice? Where do I so put this? You eat it, dude. Ready? It's <laughs> Halloween treats, all right? Just throw it on the ground. Here's uh, raisins. He's just eating it all. Come on. Yeah, come on, dude. If I went trick-or-treating and got raisins... Who wants raisins when they're out trick or treating? They're good for you. I like chocolate raisins. You do. Rizzler likes chocolate. What do you give at the boom meter? One boom. Boom. Oh my God. Oh, he did not fuck with the Barely raisins. Barely gave it a boom on that one. All right, this is for all of us. We can try these. These are pumpkin peeps. Okay, that's I think fine. I don't really good. like Ooh. peeps. Yeah. Peeps are kind of nasty. <laughs> I already can tell it's gonna. AJ, you want to grab one? Send that down here. It's all a right. Peep. How many booms for the pumpkin peeps? We need to try it. Yeah, go for it. Mm, really? Yummy. What do you guys think? Five big No, booms. there's no way. There's no way. No, no, no. They all agreed with that? I don't agree with that. Peeps are not that good. Unless they sponsor me, they're not that good. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, but hang on here, Jimmy. We couldn't leave without you giving something not, to you. You did not bring and it. And we have for you a double chunk chocolate. Oh, this pumpkin. is good. Oh my God. That's probably I'm good. So Come on, guys. What do we do? Show them how we do this. All right. This is fantastic. Oh, they're with him. Okay. 
Now, how do we do this now? Here we go, Jimmy. You ready? Yes. It's AJ. Big Justice. And the Rizzler. And we're here with Jimmy Fallon. And this is the Boom Meter. Jimmy's gonna Wait, is this Jimmy Fallon? Oh, I thought this was Jimmy Kimmel. I don't... This, well, they gotta be like two Jimmys that do talk shows. The Double Chunk Chocolate Cookie. <laughs> I get confused. Right, here we go. The Double Chunk I thought I was watching Jimmy Neutron. Cookie. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know their names. I get them mixed up. So, Jimmy, what does the Double Chunk Chocolate Cookie get on the boom meter? The Double Chunk Chocolate... <laughs> Oh, this is rough. Okay. He doesn't want to eat it. Five big boom! All right, I can't. He's fucking doing his Rizzler face. Okay, what are the comments saying on this thing? Bro, Jimmy Fallon was so done with AJ and Big Justice, but was vibing with the Rizzler the entire time. <laughs> Glad to see the Rizzler supporting small creators like Jimmy Fallon. This genuinely feels like IRL Meat Canyon. Rizzler looks like a magical toad. They fucking you can't say that, even if I agree. Um, the Rizzler will not forget being ignored when asked what to do with the Twizzler. Yeah, I, I'm gonna like that. That's very valid. I heard that and I I was also disappointed. The Rizzler looks like he is being controlled like a Muppet on the couch. Okay. Stop. Why is the Rizzler sitting like a dog in human clothes? Dude, they're mean to him. I thought they liked him. Why are they being mean to him? Okay. Well, I don't agree. Rizzler, I think you're a good guy. Okay. I respect you. Please don't kill me. I can't trust myself.